Hello, 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 welcome. I'm Julie Samako with Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful rees and teach you how to make and sell them. All right, so let's get started. I have this really cute clover sign from Carolina Pottery. I'm just like, where's the front and where's the back? So all of the fun stuff's on the front, so that's what I'm going to use. So I've got this from Carolina Pottery. I'm going to go ahead and trim off this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Or we'll maybe just cut it in half. Nope, let's just trim it off. All right, so now I have this 16-inch grapevine wreath. Actually, it's an 18-inch. This one came from Hobby Lobby. So when I find a grapevine wreath, I have to turn it around, turn it around, figure out where I want everything to go. So it's real fat over here, so I could use that to attach the um, shamrock to. However, since it's fat over here, it'd be a good place to add all of my greenery and stuff to. So I think I'm going to just keep positioning, repositioning until I find what I like. Don't forget to turn it over, see if it works better that way. I think I'm going with this right there. All right, so I'm going to get some forest wire to attach everything to. There. All right, so I really want to use this um, bind wire. Unless I can get the pipe, unless I can get this forest wire to go through. Let's see, let's try the forest wire first. Because it would be easier than having to thread the bind wire through. But the bind wire would do a really better job hiding the fact. I don't think that's going to feed through. Bind wire is just a little bit too flimsy for going piercing through the shamrock. So let's just go with forest wire. So we've got the bottom connected. Just gonna see how far I can pull this over to the side. There's a funny stick right here. So we've got a T 
attachment number two. All right, and then we have one more side. Actually, I'm wondering if that even needs it. Well, let's just do it. Okay, so now that we've got that added, this is what the wreath looks like now. And so now I want to add a bow. So we've got ribbon. I love this really pretty um, lime green and emerald green checked print. And then we've got a lime green polka, white polka dot. And we've got an emerald green one and a half inch. And we have a Moroccan print, I guess, one and a half inch lime green. And I'm just going to make a quick little funky bow. which way I want this to go. Definitely right there. So how much do I want a streamer? It's not much. Not much. All right, so let's get going. I'm just going to make a quick little funky bow. We've got a little tail. I'm going to measure out 12 inches on the mat, bring it to the back, and then pinch it into my, my hands. And I'm going to flip that, twist it, and then trim. So we've got a loop above my thumb. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the other ribbon, the other two and a half inch. Just feed it into your fingers. You can measure out the 12 inches or you can use the loop that's already there as a guide. Twist. and then cut. And so now I'm going to move on to the one and a half inch. So I'm going to do, so now I've got a loop below my thumb. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Adding another loop above my thumb. Do this one. And then twist. So now we've got three above and one below. I'm going to go ahead and add one more. Like this. I think I might add one more lime green. So now I'm going to use florist wire to secure it. Push all the tails to the back and the loops to the front. And 
and then twist. And so now this is what I call a funky bow. You could use, you didn't have to use good ribbon, you know, new on a roll. You could use ribbon scraps. Use them up, use them up. All right, so now what I want to do is get the ribbon out of the way for now. Let's figure out where we're going to add this. All right, so I think I want it to go right. Well, let's just see. I want to make sure we have, I think, right there. Or do I want it like there? Right there. So I'm going to feed this in to the grapevine wreath. Secure this on the back. Right like that. All right, so I can always trim these ribbons a little bit more later. But right now, let's go ahead and start adding some green stuff to this. All right, I've got this really pretty bamboo left over that I just put on the Easter wreath behind me. So we just got finished using this, so I'm going to use some of this. Let's do one right there and right there. Try to decide if I'm going to put it up on the easel. All right. I'm just going to secure that down in there. One on one side. One on the other. This one going back here on the back. So we've just made a little triangle. Isn't that cute already? All right, so let's see. Of course, we've got to have lots of greenery and maybe some white flowers. All right, I'm liking this because I love, when you're looking at the colors of your, even the filler and the greenery, Look how this lime green on this evergreen um, bush plays. It's got this emerald green and the lime green in this uh, really pretty uh, bush. So it matches the lime green that we're using in the bow. So definitely going to use some of this. I purchased this wholesale from Sims Pottery.
to be careful not to cover up the the clover. So we've added some greenery, this real fun, um, soft, textured greenery. And we've got this. I definitely want to add this. I'm going to add this last. So I'll probably have to hang it up to put that one on. We've got this really pretty lime green yarrow. This will be pretty. Now you can put in, you know, white hydrangeas, white dahlias, whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it monochromatic with the lime, I mean the dark green and the lime green. Maybe a little white. It'd be fun if you added some yellow. So you can see where I've added these three right here. I added one up here. Let's do one going a little closer to the bow. down at the bottom. There. So here is the yarrow that we've added. So we've got two over here. We've got four going down trailing different sizes and then we've got one back here on the back with the bow. So it looks really pretty on all sides. All right, so now we've got some of these white flowers. We can incorporate these. This will just help to break up some of that greenery going on.
we're just adding in some of the white sometimes let's see if that's going to stay sometimes if your wreath is too loosey-goosey you have to put a floral pick of some sorts on there to keep it in place Maybe one more. One more. Let's see, where do I want that? We've got two more. Or three more. guys how quick was this wreath we're almost done can you believe it so I've got this um I got this at Carolina Pottery too the white flowers might not have said that let's see where I'm going to put this inside the bow that in place. I'm just going to curl under some of these ribbon streamers. Okay, so let me um, put it up on the easel real quick so I can look, take a look, a good look at it. I'll just switch this one right here. Oh yeah, that's cute. Alright, so let me um, add... I love this. This is really pretty. It's got some of the white and the green. That'll be fun having some stuff hang down, won't it?
we're just draping some of this green, this um, long green stems. Don't want to cover up the. Shamrock. love this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Let's see if it's going to stick. Right there. Okay, you guys. I think we are done. I want to turn this around and show you and tell me what you think. Isn't this cute? So if any of your picks came over on the back, which it looks like a couple did, they just trim them short. So it's not scratching your door, but isn't this just super cute? I love this hanging down. Isn't that cute? It didn't take hardly any time at all. I know you can make this, you guys. If it's not um, for St. Patrick's, it could be a Valentine sign, Valentine ribbon, Easter sign, Easter ribbon. Christmas sign, Christmas ribbon. You get the picture? <laughs> so you can use this um, and just make different different style of wreaths. Um, this is just a tutorial to kind of get you excited and get you started. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to try new things, um, things you've never tried before, you know, with floral design, um, anything. If you're painting, cake decorating, whatever, just try it. Whatever you have your heart desire, whatever that little burning desire is inside your gut, just go for it. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Don't want to live your life with regret. You want to put, put your, um, you know, put it into action. You never know where it will take you. I mean, look where my little wreath desire has brought me showing the videos throughout the world. So yeah, don't, not that you have to do that, but you just never know where the Lord will take you when you just follow um, that little burning desire in your heart. All right, you guys, I hope you learned something from this. Um, but again, I hope y'all have a great weekend. I hope um, I'm a blessing to you. Just know you're a blessing to me. Um, it just it fills my love tank to come on here and provide you guys with some instructions, sharing my talent with you. 
just sometimes it's a little hard <laughs> to make it work into the schedule. So I was so glad that I got to fit it in this week. You guys have a great weekend, okay? And um, I'll be back on hopefully uh, by the end of the week, maybe sun, maybe Sunday. Hopefully I'll be back on Sunday. Tomorrow I'll be busy filming. This month our Wreath of the Month Club gets two featured videos. So we're going to be filming two different wreaths tomorrow, giving that to them next week. That'll be fun. All right, so you guys, I'll be busy all weekend working, and hopefully I can come back on Sunday. Um, if not, definitely I'll be on Monday. You guys, thank you so much.